Hey guys, hope you are doing well. Such as the crypto market, we see few altcoins pumping as Bitcoin is consolidating a little bit. So my name is Mike Denkler from Corion X, and I'm bringing you the most important crypto news, technical analysis, altcoin, DeFi, NFT gems every day to keep you updated and educated. And nothing in this video can be considered as a financial advice so everything just for entertainment and education purposes only let's share my screen please smash the like subscribe to the channel push the bell notification all and let's go and check our favorite bubble chart and you see that solana up 12 percent avalanche up eight percent rune torn chain up 28 percent link up five percent near also the same we chain up seven percent nexo up eight percent and deal nine percent good to see hex uh, correcting further down and as we see bitcoin is at uh, <coughs> 62,800 and ethereum is still about four thousand so that's a nice consolidation we see binance coin dump back a little bit below 500 us dollar but the overall market looks really really bullish Let's go and indicate the crypto fear and greed index. And let's see, I refresh and uh, the index shows that we are in greed at 75. But uh, yesterday, the index was at 84. So guys, that was a really, really huge extreme greed out there. But now it's consolidating a little bit. And as you remember, just two, three weeks ago, the index was at the lowest level here in the extreme uh, fear zone such as uh, during the summer and now we are getting back to the red zone as the bull market is popping up and uh, also you know that uh, greediness can uh, stay for months and weeks so we have more uh, time to unfold this bull market let's go and check our, our first news Bitcoin gains 2,000 in hours after BTC price bounces near previous all-time high. So that was the news yesterday. The all-time high was at uh, 67,000. Uh, so this is this was the higher price that Bitcoin touched, uh, 67,000, and dropped back. And now also we are dropping, so correcting back uh, with this formation. And there was a successful retest of the new of the uh, previous all-time high, so that's a good sign. And uh, seventy-five thousand is the next target according to this uh, analysis. Uh, if we bounce from here, some levels to keep an eye on are around seventy-five, eighty-seven, and ninety-six thousand delivered from recent price action using the Fibonacci retracement tool. So. Uh, we are correcting back, so it's not valid anymore, but uh, uh, for sure that uh, the previous high was the uh, Fibonacci 1 level, and now uh, the Fibonacci extension levels are higher. Yeah, or, or so, no, they are measuring from the uh, 52,000, the Fibonacci uh, one is there. So according to this yes everything can happen but we can pull up the fibonacci from every dip to uh, to every peak so i think this is not so accurate and now we are correcting back so our next piece of news is breaking news 2.2 trillion asset manager pimco plans to buy more crypto okay so they want to increase uh, their crypto holdings. This will be a gradual process where we spend a lot of time on the internal diligence side, speaking to investors, and we will take baby steps in area that's rapidly growing. Okay, so PIMCO is planning to increase its exposure to digital currencies such as Bitcoin after that dabbling in the asset class through crypto link securities. So they want to. Uh, enter not just bitcoin but also crypto so we see what kind of crypto they will buy and they will provide investments uh, to their clients so this is definitely huge news and i think we will see institutional investors coming in crypto in the coming weeks 
Next piece of news is Bitcoin Futures ETF hits 1 billion asset under management in a record breaking two days. So this is the ProShare, ProShares Bitcoin ETF that has beaten an 18 years old record for the fastest fund to a billion dollar asset under management. We see this posting by Eric Balkunas that's with uh, uh, after 1.1 billion a day. This is the fastest. So within two days reached 1 billion US dollar asset under management. And that was a gold, uh, uh, gold did the same 18 years before. If uh, Bito keeps up the space of inflows, it won't have any futures left to buy by the end of the month due to the post position limits. So this is definitely huge. And also uh, we know that two other ETFs, Verkire and uh, Wanek ETFs uh, have been approved and will uh, be launched in the next few days. Next piece of news is analysts that said 200 to 300,000 Bitcoin looks programmed still says BTC price nowhere near the top. Okay. So uh, tech dev says the two week uh, chart looks strong and ready for much higher highs. So this is from tech dev. He predicted this 200 and 300 Bitcoin price. Also plan B just uh, piped uh, the 63,000. That was his uh, uh, stock to flow price prediction for October. And he has uh, 98,000 for November and 135,000 for November. And tech that still in this Bitcoin is now near the top. So according to this chart, uh, he put up that uh, we have the, we have this uh, Fibonacci extension, Fibonacci levels. And according to this uh, levels that uh, the top, uh, if the peaks always peaking at the 2.272 Fibonacci extensions, the peak is uh, between 200 and 300,000, and we are far away from uh, this. And also, he expect RSI to peak around uh, 93 and 92. So, this is a good outlook for Bitcoin. So, we have such a huge space to grow. Crypto market cap tops 2.6 trillion US dollar. Solana explodes 20% and Ethereum up 8%. So Bitcoin also uh, hit it, the new all time high at 67,000 US dollar. And uh, the total crypto market cap reached 2.6 billion US dollar and uh, 2.6 trillion US dollar. And not a little bit back and out uh, to over for a while and we see i think uh, sometimes when bitcoin will uh, just uh, increase in value then altcoins will lagging but when bitcoin stops altcoins surging next piece of news is ethereum on the brink of catching fire according to analyst justin bennett here is his target and timeline okay so this uh, major rally that could launch the crypto asset by nearly uh, 400%. So this means four times price surge for Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum could rally to uh, 20,000 US dollar by January 2022. If BTC breaks 65,000 without a significant pullback first, ETH probably matches it with a close about the May trend line. Would you uh, would put ETA on track for uh, 20,000 in January? So this is the chart. Um, last year, March lows and uh, all time high at Ethereum. And now we are bouncing on the trend line already bounced. And the next targets uh, of this trend line the, uh, at the upper trend line is at 20,000 US dollar. Bennett thinks that 20,000 top for the ETH is more likely given uh, that too many traders are calling for a high of 10,000. Okay. So don't be surprised if we got a flush this week, potentially toward uh, 53,000 BTC, then all time high. So I think this was really before the all time high. Everyone, including me, is hyper bullish right now. 
and rightfully so, but that's when liquidation tends to occur. Sunday's 28, um, 900 low is the probably line in the sand. Okay. And also the burb nest, crypto burb just posted this. BTC all time high in days, institutional retail form of tech giants, crypto payments, Bitcoin bulls uh, pulls to 200,000 peak, BTC rewards of uh, the 40, uh, 50,000 drop, ultimate R season, bear market, and BTC bottom. So, uh, yes, maybe something similar. Fibonacci points to uh, 200,000, 270,000. This is also what tech dev uh, is uh, expecting and uh, Justin Bennett uh, expect 50 to 60,000 market low in the bear market so but we are far away first reach 200,000 for Bitcoin 20,000 for Ethereum and then we can talk about the bear market our next piece of news is billionaires are coming out and just crying why they did bo did buy so uh, tiny bit of Bitcoin and crypto. PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel says he underinvested in Bitcoin. Okay. And the good news that uh, he can still invest in Bitcoin, but good to, good to hear that. You are supposed to just buy Bitcoin. Thiel said, adding, I feel like I have been underinvested in it. But don't forget that Peter Thiel is uh, investing in different crypto projects, especially he invested a couple of billions in uh, the bullish exchange that uh, is building on the EOS uh, blockchain. Okay, next piece of news is pension fund for Texas firefighters reportedly allocates 25 million to Bitcoin and Ether. So guys, huge news, a, uh, a pension fund in Texas is investing in bitcoin and crypto 25 million uh, i think it's a big amount but also uh, would be good uh, to know that uh, so they allocated roughly 0 0.6 to its portfolio in june 2020 and they are continuing this as more as more institutional adoption happen there will be more and more dynamics that develop for supply and demand and helping physical assets actual tokens given us in the future the possibility of income generation potential so they are also opening up for other crypto assets we have been studying this an asset class to add to our investment portfolio for quite some time so that's a huge news let's go and check the charts what's happening uh, on the bitcoin charts we see that was a pullback on the four hourly and actually we retested of uh, the upper trend line of this uh, wedge and now Bitcoin uh, seeming uh, <clears throat> bouncing here. We see if not that we can drop further at least to uh, 50, uh, 57,800 levels because we have the next confluence zone there. So if you are trading this, I highly suggest to put some stop loss here around 60 thousand us dollar but uh, you know you see this huge spy this is the four hour spy so that was a huge huge movement uh, yesterday and bitcoin with this formation came back and now seems consolidating so even we bounce from here or after consolidation dropping further so uh, uh, let's see i think a few uh, <clears throat> investors took some profit here okay let's check what uh Avalanche is doing. I think Avalanche also started to pop up here. Okay, so did this night breakout, and now we are uh, getting closer to here. So th this is my price target for this formation. And what Ethereum is doing, Ethereum holding strongly about 400, uh, 4,000 uh, US dollar, and uh, also peaked around really close to, to the all time high, but not reached the all time high, if I'm right. And now correcting a little bit, uh, so I think uh, Ethereum will have uh, will move much faster when Bitcoin consolidating. So definitely uh, look out for if Bitcoin just side waving, then we will see more uh, surge from Ethereum, and also you can check it on the four hourly. 
and uh, we have this nice consolidation so so now we are forming a kind of pool flat here okay i think the next that we want to check out solana solana and rune, rune torn chain is doing great so rune torn chain started to rally and good to see that the next levels to watch is at 12 the us dollar and also let's check uh solana solana broke up nicely and also reached our first uh at the half of the way of our first part, uh, price target but uh we have more uh, to upside but i wouldn't buy in at these levels so that was a good breakout trade from there so guys this is for today uh please uh check out Corion x farms on binance smart chain uh you you will find two uh, 240 uh, percent apr so you can come and uh, just provide some liquidity and earn extra uh, with uh, uh, farming and also uh, we are restarting our ethereum farms but uh, for now this is the uh, corionx ethereum liquidity pool farm and this is just a simple corionx staking but uh, i don't know why the science not showing so we will look into and solve this issue but uh, until then uh, you can stake also on ethereum so thank you guys please smash the like subscribe to the channel and uh, follow us in, in our in our social media so see you tomorrow bye bye